kids over there are the Donut Repair Club. Well, all except the tall one with the cap. That's me. I'm the Donut Man, and that's my pal Duncan. This is the story of how we learned to become helpers. We were pretty excited, but little did we know it was just around the corner. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is it. Well, here we are, everybody. It looks kind of run down. Well, it, you know, it might just need a little bit of paint, but come on, let's check it. Whoops. <laughs> and maybe we do need a new doorknob. <laughs> well, come on, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> See, what did I tell you? This isn't so bad. It's not? Just look at this over here, look. Why, this is the soda fountain my grandpa built. He'd make sodas and shakes and all... <laughs> <laughs> is that a soda or a shake? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to tighten this up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? Oh no, the boat's sinking. Look, Tuggy got done. Yeah. Now I'm all soggy. Ew. Hey, where are we? Why, this is the celebration house. Celebration house, huh? Looks like the party's over. Oh, no. We just had a little accident. We'll be okay. <laughs> what is a celebration house anyway? Why? This is a place where God helps people help people. My grandma and grandpa built this when I was just a little kid. Help people? Mm -hmm. What kind of help? Oh, all kinds of help. Why, it didn't matter who you were, but you were always welcome here. And if you just needed a place to stay, why, you could come to the celebration house. And if you needed a friend to talk to, you could always find someone here. But if what you really needed was a good meal, why, my grandma always made sure there was plenty of good food in her oven to eat. Come on, I'll show you. Come on. <laughs> Are you sure you know how to work that old thing? Oh, sure. I just turn this knob here, push this button, and... Oh, no! <laughs> is starting to look like it wasn't such a great idea. Oh, sure it was. Yeah, don't give up now. We'll help you. No, just look around. This place is a wreck. You can say that again. This place is a wreck. You can say that again. <laughs> this place okay, <laughs> so it needs a little work. Yeah, don't give up. We'll help you. We better cheer up fast.
you know, you're right. It, it really does. Yeah! Look out! What's the matter, Katie? Look! It's only a little mouse. He won't hurt you. <laughs> Why, that's probably his house. Aww. Yeah. Even a mouse has a house. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of why we're here. What do you mean? Well, we want to make this a place where everybody's welcome, especially for people who don't have a house or a family of their own. Aren't you glad that you have a house? Yeah! <laughs> well, then, come on. If you're glad you have a house, I want you to sing along. Come on. Oh, I'm thankful that I live. How about your bed? Oh, I'm thankful there's a bed in which to rest. And not like a bird up in the nest. Sleeping in a tree is not the place for me. No, I think that a bed for me is best. Are you glad you have clothes? I'm thankful there are clothes for me to wear. And I'm not fuzzy furry everywhere. A dog or a cat. Well, let's have some fun now. I'll leave a place for you to sing. See if you know the word, okay? I'm thankful that I live in a house and not in a hole like a mouse. I'm sure it's very nice for those little tiny mice. Nice. But I'm glad that I live. I'm glad that I live. I'm glad that I live in a Okay, everybody, what do you say we get back to work? Back to work? I thought we were already finished. Mr. Donut Man, I think you're right after all. This place is too messy for us. We'll never be able to clean it up. Yeah, this will take forever. This job is just too big for us. <laughs> Come on over here, everybody. We need to have a talk. <laughs> I think I've got a good Bible story that will help us. It's the story of Joshua. When he had a job that was too big for him to do, God helped him do it. Let's see now. Uh, Andy, come here. Why don't you help me tell this next story? Now, Joshua had a horn. So here you go. Pretend that that's your horn, and we're going to need a wall. Uh, here we have a, a painter's drop cloth here. Yeah, now pull that table out of the way and, and put the chairs in a line and you'll all stand on the chairs and hold this under your chin. It'll look just like a wall. You can't win a battle with the horn. Oh, silly Joshua. You can't win a battle with the horn. Oh, silly Joshua.
We can get the job done if we ask God to help us. But we don't have real trumpets. <laughs> no, we don't have trumpets. We have something better. Our weapon is prayer. So come on, let's join hands. There you go. And let's ask God to help us. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would help us to work together to get this job done so that this will be a place where everybody feels welcome. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> too big for us. We really did it. Yeah. Look at what you can do when God helps you do it. <laughs> Mr. Donut Man, look at all the work that I got done. Yeah, but that was easy. I did more. But I did better. Oh, give me a break. Wait a second. Is there anybody here who knows what Jesus said about what makes you great? I mean, really great? Come on, let's find out. Be great. I wanna be super, absolutely, wonderfully great. I wanna be great. I wanna be great. I wanna be super, absolutely, wonderfully great. Everybody, gather round. Let's take a break. Oh. Oh. Mr. Dunham, man, mm -hmm. could I ask you something? Sure. Well, sometimes I really don't 
feel like being a helper. What can I do about that? You don't feel like being a helper? <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, Brandon, sometimes I don't feel like being a helper either. And when that happens, I've learned to ask Jesus to change my heart. And you know what? He'll do it. <laughs> well, would you look at this? I'm in the kitchen working and cleaning, and you're just sitting around. What's the matter, Jenny? But this just isn't fair. I'm in the kitchen mopping, scrubbing, and cleaning, while everyone else is just sitting around. There's so much to do. Jenny, listen. There is a time to work, and I appreciate everything you've been doing, but there's a time to rest, too. And there's a time to talk, and there's a time to just sit down and listen. So come on, listen to this. What do you think Martha said? I am busily, busily working while Mary is shocking. Why can't Jesus see? She should help me. I am chopping and cutting and cooking while Mary is looking. Why can't Jesus see? She should help me. Why can't Jesus see? She should help me. Jesus felt sorry for her and said, Martha, Martha, why do you worry? Mary, Mary chose the best part when she chose me, chose the best part when she chose me. I guess Martha was bad, wasn't she? No, Martha wasn't bad. She just did the right thing at the wrong time. I'm sorry I complained. Oh, Jenny, that's okay. But now we can all see there's more to serving Jesus than just work. You see, Jesus wants us to learn that there's a right time to work, and there's also a right time to just rest and spend time with Him. So come on, everybody, let's take some time right now to thank him and to praise him for loving us and for helping us. Come on. <laughs>
has a plan. God has a plan. Right there in his hand. Right there in his hand. He knows what I. He knows what I will be. Will be. Yes, I love to sing and skip and dance and shout. If I take a look, if I take a look, Adam named the animal, Adam named the animal, Noah ran a zoo, Noah ran a zoo, God will show me, God will show me, what to do, what to do, I love to sing and skip and dance and shout, hallelujah, shout, hallelujah, shout, hallelujah, I love to sing and skip and dance and shout. God made each of you in a special way with a special gift to get the job done. So come on, there's a job to be done in the kitchen. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> now that the place is all cleaned up, the only thing left to do is to make some food. <laughs> and I know how to do that. I saw my grandma do this lots of times. Maybe you'd better read the directions. Remember what happened last time. Oh, no. All I have to do is turn this knob, push this button, set the timer, and open the... Oh, no! <laughs> Bring me the ladder! Bring me the hose! Fire drill! Fire drill! <coughs> oh, no! Not again! Now what do we do? How about if you follow the directions? Oh, I see. I should have turned the knob to the left. Oh, thanks, Andy. I guess I learned another good lesson. Yeah, the donut man should stay out of the kitchen. No. <laughs> if you want to be a really good helper, you've got to learn how to follow the directions. That reminds me of a story of three people who got into big trouble because they didn't follow the directions. Listen. <laughs> Thought it would go easily the first time she tried to bake a cake. She had a good cookbook, but she never took a look, cause I would never make a mistake. No! She added lots of flour to some funny looking powder, then she shook it up and put it in to bake. Kaboom! <laughs> to Henrietta Beasley, it did not go so easily her cake was spread all over the room now she says follow the directions before you start to bake follow the directions if you want a good cake big gray mackle they thought that it would be okay the time he tried to build a model plane he had the good plain plan, but he never read it and said, Reading plans are such a pain. He tried to glue it and stick parts to it and fly it from his room. It was a shame. Smash! Ray McElvey had these words to say when the plane went down with a crash. Follow the directions before you start. Directions and it won't fall apart. Oh. Amy McMaster thought it would be faster the time she tried to sew herself a dress. She said, It won't be mattering if I don't use a pattern. You know that I could really care less. <laughs> so she stitches and she sews on the pockets and the bows on the upside down and twisted all a mess. A mess! Oh. Amy McMaster thought it would be faster, but now she'll be the first to confess. Oh, follow that direction before you sew a dress. Follow that directions and it won't be a mess. God has a plan. 
Think of all of the things we've learned here that'll make us better helpers back home and at school and at church. I'm gonna clean my room. I'm gonna help my dad. I'm gonna help in Sunday school. You are? Well then, come on, everybody. You come on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Come on in. <laughs> come on in. Hi. Come on in. Without Jesus, it's like you don't know. Like you don't know. Like you don't know. Like without Jesus, it's like you don't know. So that's why we're called the Donut Repair Club. We repair donuts so everyone will remember that Jesus died on the cross and rose up from the grave so he could fill our hearts with his love. Without Jesus, it's like a donut, like a donut, like a donut. Life without Jesus, it's like a donut. how the Donut Repair Club learned to be helpers. And it's also how the Celebration House came back to life. We're glad you joined us, and we hope you'll come back next time for more adventures of the Donut Man and the Donut Repair Club. 